a low number of entries. There was no B final for Division 1, so we'll head straight to the starting grid for the A final, where it's Philippe Tolmer who starts from pole with Alex Toy alongside on a row one. On second row, it's Samuel Per and Fabien Paye, and you'll note the absence of David Delonde, whose electronic management system gave out, leaving Gaetan Serizan by himself on row three. Toy gets the best start ahead of Tolmer Per is third, followed by Paye and Serizan. Opening lap, Tolmer makes a small mistake, allowing Per to move into second place. Toy leads after lap one, but it would be short lived as he lost a wheel on his golf at the start of lap two, bringing his race to a premature end. Samuel Per is the new leader of the D1 final, ahead of Philippe Tolmer, Fabien Paillet and Gaetan Serezan, who puts in his joker lap on lap two. Per begins lap three in the lead, ahead of Tolmer in the Citroën C4. And on lap three, Philippe Tolmer decides it's time to put in his joker, as does Fabien Paillet, while Gaetan Serizan moves up to second. pushes hard to extend his lead before taking his joker lap on the fourth time by, and this is where the race will be decided. The Peugeot 207, the number five, comes back out in the lead, while further back Serizan makes a tiny mistake, which lets Tolmer retake second place. is the issue on lap five to catch up to the leader Per and put some distance between himself and Serizan. Per keeps Tolmer behind him on the final lap to take the win, and Gaetan Serizan completes the D1 podium. Per takes his second success of the year after winning the season opener at Dreux and is the new point.